Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this uh, dry uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, Matthew chapter 25 and verse 30. And throw the worthless slave into the outer darkness. In that place, we will be weeping. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And throw the worthless slave into the outer darkness. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And that concept of the outer darkness is Jesus' description of eternal hell. The place where all those disembodied spirits go that are not Christians. So everyone that is not a Christian in the judgment will be judged and their sentence will be to cast, to be cast into the outer darkness. And the outer darkness <clears throat> is the representation of hell. And Jesus introduces a concept there. He says this, he says, there, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth weeping and gnashing of teeth and that sense of anguish and suffering and eternal pain. Now we can't really imagine what hell is like but one thing we can know is that God is not going to be there and wherever God isn't then there is an outer darkness, there is a deep darkness, there is sadness, suffering and pain there is anguish there is decay as our world gives up on the message of the gospel as society abandons jesus from this infrastructure so we move into the outer darkness we move into that place where the presence of god which brings light and joy and happiness and peace and freedom and hope and surrender and, sur and all the beautiful adornments that God represents within the context of his character and everything he's ever done, which is good. Everything starts to decay. Everything starts to break down. And so the reality of the outer darkness is the place <coughs> where <coughs> judgment, after judgment, hell is established and all those who are outside of Christ are going there. And this worthless slave who was unwilling to put his talents to good use, he is thrown into the outer darkness because he never gave himself even to the smallness of the task that God had given to him by way of representing something that was good, right and proper. He didn't even do that. In fact, he took on the very opposite perspective, which was to see his master in a light that did not reflect the true reality of his master. And all those who believe that God is an evil taskmaster sending sickness and disease to teach us lessons about life, who brings curses and brings... Um, famines and disaster they are misrepresenting God God is a good God yes things go wrong and yes we live in a sin-filled broken world that is in chaos but it's not God's fault despite what people say but one day when the judgment is done there will be a sending to an outer darkness that will represent much worse than even what we've got on earth. Thank you for joining me. Heavy duty.